Another important group of uh, cover crops are the legumes. We have uh, cool season legumes and warm season legumes. Uh, legumes are very important on the cover crop or cover crop mix because they fix nitrogen. This one here is crimson clover. It's an annual clover. Uh, very interesting because it fixes nitrogen in a short time. This was planted July 20, but, uh, but also you plant it later, you can get a good cover. Uh, these are the flowers. Usually one flower you plant after August 15. We have a few flowers here. This is why it's called crimson clover, because of the color of the flowers. We'll continue with legumes. Um, we have uh, the 4HP. This is a variety Arvica. It's a very important cover crop. We've uh, measured the fixed nitrogen up to 120 pounds in only three months of growth in, in the fall. So it's a very interesting uh, cover crop to use to uh, add nitrogen to the soil. Also here we have hairy veg, another cover crop use. Uh, you can see how nicely covers the, the the soil also fixes nitrogen because it's a legume. And the only thing with a hairy veg, and it grows very slow in the fall, and uh, we have some problems, you can have some problems with weeds. Here we have uh, two of the very common cover crops, radishes and turnips. And this uh, experiment was planted in, in July 20th, and you can see the size of a radish root that we can get and only a couple months of growth. Uh, this, this is very interesting because this is gonna make uh, a big uh, channel of fur in the soil. So uh, radishes and turnips can uh, improve the infiltration of the soil, reduce compaction by just this root. But not only this, the root continues here. We couldn't get it, they broke. But, <laughs> but you can see that. Here, here are turnips. Turnips are smaller, but also have a really long tap root that draws nutrients from the deep in the soil and brings them back to the surface. So that's what is really interesting about these crops. They provide cover, then they get killed in the winter, and all the nutrients they draw back from several feet down, up to four to five feet, they, they, they come back to the surface once these plants melt. This crop is Facilia. It's a cover crop uh, that is not as known, grows very fast and it flowers very fast, which is very good because for pollinators, you can see here there is a honeybee and there are other wild bees uh, pollinating the flowers. Uh, another benefit of cover crops is they, they provide flowers for pollinators when we don't have any other crops flowering. Also, Facilia can, uh, has a tap root and it can draw a lot of nutrients from the soil up to the surface and then when it dies in the winter all those nutrients will be available for the following crop. Um, this is buckwheat. Uh, this crop is uh, very interesting because it grows really fast. Uh, this was planted in July 20th and August 20th was already flowering. It's also uh, very good for bees, uh, pollinator. Uh, since it grows fast it draws a lot of moisture and nutrients and also there's some uh, research that indicates that they can mobilize some phosphorus in the soil around the roots, which will help the following uh, crop. 